Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to do a video tutorial on bulge material. So I'll just get rid of him and for this we won't use our regular benchmark. I'm going to use uh, just a square because uh, um, it's better to understand on this. So we're just going to apply any material, just a, a sketch up material, something like that, just some color. And on the diffuse, we're going to, on the map, we're going to uh, choose the bulge, text bulge. So here you can get a small preview. And basically, this is how it works. If you put the multiplier higher, like 5, so you get more edges, more black. And if you put it um, down, like point, uh, zero 0.01, then you get more white and the colors you can control here for example if you want instead of black you can put a different color so for example if you want like a yellow on the sides so uh, you just we got a yellow on the sides and if we want in the middle instead of uh, white um, we can put any color like let's say green and we got this so let's see how it renders uh, one second, yeah, it's, uh, the mix is not good, so let's try something else. The green. Okay. And to invert this, you just need to press invert. And you got the opposite. You got the blue and the yellow inside. So we'll cancel the invert. And we're going to render this. So it comes up gray. You can see how we get this. Um, so this is pretty cool. What we can do with this? So a few things. First of all, you can let's let's move it from the let's move it from the um, diffuse. Let's try to put it on the bump. So if we put it on the bump and on the displacement, you can do pretty cool stuff like. Um, uh, you can uh, if you put the value up to like 50 and also put it on the displacement you can almost get a round corner out of this um, out of this um, uh, uh, this square so this is kind of cool I don't know how you can use it but you probably could use it so this is only using this uh, bolt material now I found another cool stuff to use it, another cool way. Um, so I'll go to um, um, a model that I prepared. Okay, so I'll go for this, for this uh, lamp that I created. Um, I wanna show something cool. So I have here like a studio. You see like I built a studio, very simple. And I built some sort of a lamp and I have one scene and this is what we're going to render. So um, I choose this now. It's very important that if you if you go in, you'll see this orange uh, lamp in the middle. It's actually a, just a square. It has to be a square. That's how it works the best. So it can be around the angles. Um, so around corners uh, with the plug-in or whatever. So now I'm going to the material and you can see I have this orange I'm going to I'm, I'm going to add a missive um, a missive layer and so now it's all shiny and what I want to do I want to put that bolt um, multiplier to ha to be controlled so on the M of the color I choose the and I choose the, the, the M for maps and I put the bolt map so basically uh, I got this bolt map and I want to put it down because I don't want too much of the black on the side so I put 0, 1 and 0, 0, 0.01 uh, 0, 1 and um, you can put some colors here but I'm not going to put any colors and this will be good for this and I, I want to add more to make it stronger for like 35 okay so now it's all shiny 
Now basically what I did, I put like the bolt in the middle area of the square. So that will be the shiny. Now I want to render like as a studio. So what I'm, I'm choosing interior setting and very high quality. And for the out output, I'm going to put um, uh, full HD. And and very important for the environment, I put all everything. So basically, it's black, so we can see the the effect. Okay, so I'm rendering now, and we'll see what we got. There's no material on the on the um, lamp, but it's okay. I'll be back. okay so i'm back and this is the final result it's we got like a nice lamp cool color and it looks very good and i like it very much and this is the cool effect now i showed it once so here is the history to compare and i'll save it to the history um just like that you you can add it and uh I just save it here and I have it here saved this is the one I just render and I'll render another one without the bolt and you can see the difference the only thing I want to mention before uh, um, I render the last render that if 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 we uh, do it on sorry if if we do it on a round so what's what happens it's, you get the bolt effect on each one of those on each one of the faces so for example um, I I'll run you see here so this could be very cool if you want it like that but just to mention that's why I did it like totally square in the middle but if you don't want it like that so you can um, it could be I don't know you can get an undesired um, result so um, I'll just control Z back to this and what I wanted to show is uh, the effect without so instead of here I'll just put no none and now I have no bolt and I'll render the same scene and we'll compare okay I'll be back okay this is my second render so you can see um, I will compare I press here on the picture that I save and on A so here I can compare so you see how I get this nice bolt on the light and it makes it more more realistic more uh, homey style but you can see how this is just bright and showing up uh, and here you get some more details and you can just get more it looks better so this is how we can use the bolt and also we can uh, what we mentioned here uh, with uh, with the bump you don't need to put so high values but this is the idea thank you for watching you can download this lamp and the material everything in my uh, website thank you and please like subscribe share thanks